Hi everyone, it's Nikhil here from Raptor Maps. I'm going to show you how we actually verify our data in the field. So you're out there, you spent all this time, you know, you set up your flight plan, you've been watching your drone fly back and forth, and, and now you want to make sure before you leave that field and have to, you know, risk driving all the way back out there again, um, that you actually have the data that you came for. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to verify your data. Um, this uses very little bandwidth, so you can hotspot your um, laptop either with a phone or with a mobile hotspot. We're not actually transferring all of the images. We're only using the metadata. So first you're going to log into your Raptor Maps account. <clears throat> that login is going to take you to the main dashboard. We're actually going to use the image uploader. And again, we're not uploading all the images to the cloud, but we are verifying all of the metadata. So we're going to say upload data from, click on my computer, that's going to take you to this window right here. And so what you want to do is all of the data that you want to verify the coverage for, you want to drag and drop into this uploader. Um, so I'm going to show you right here. Let's select all of our drone imagery from this particular flight uh, on this memory card. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag these thousand images and I'm going to drop them in here. All right. So now what you'll notice is as I drop those images, um, we're basically recreating our drone flight. So you can see that lawnmower pattern going back and forth. Uh, what we're looking for is that we don't have any skipped rows. We're looking for um, you know, any major gaps in the coverage itself. So this all looks pretty good. And now what you can do is um, if you have different folders, you can keep dragging them in here and kind of stack those on top of each other and make sure you have good coverage of the entire area. Um, so what you may want to do is, you know, it looks like we missed one image here. Um, that's probably not a big deal because we have that 80% overlap, so that's going to be caught. Um, there's a little bit of a margin of error built in there. But if we had big gaps, if we were missing another one or two pins in here, we would probably want to revisit that site and make sure we had taken that data. Uh, now this works for both the RGB and the IR images, so you want to make sure that you verify both of them. Um, now, if we were actually uploading this data to the Raptor Maps web application, um, then we would give this session an upload name uh, based on the site, and we would hit upload photos. But because we're out in the field, all we want to do is verify the coverage, and so that's how we do it. Now, before I send my drone back out, I make sure that I've actually taken this data and backed it up, either on my computer's hard drive or on an external hard drive. And that just gives you really good redundancy. That way, in case anything happens, you've got all of the data saved up until that last flight that you're executing on today. So that is how you verify your infrared and your RGB data while you're still in the field so you don't have to come back out and take it again.